Today I'm going to teach you how to develop the best vibrato technique. I use three different kinds of vibrato, a slow one, a medium one, and a fast one. And if you look at some of the best guitar players in the world, Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, let's throw John Mayer in that category for good measure because he's freaking amazing. They have such a signature vibrato. It really lends itself so beautifully to their playing. It gives their notes a life of its own long after they've played it. So let's get into the mechanics. I'm gonna choose the seventh fret of the G string right here. You wanna choose some you want to choose something that's in the middle of the fret because if you choose something that's right here you run the risk of having that string go off the fretboard like that okay so let's go with the seventh fret of the g string that is a d note i'm going to show you my slow vibrato first now before we start you can you can use whatever finger you want i prefer to use these three because they're strong and they help me stay consistent with my vibrato so let's start with the first finger <laughs> That's my slow vibrato. This is my medium vibrato. And this is my fast vibrato. There we go. Okay, you can also use your middle finger and your ring finger for the same effect. So. Just like that. Okay, let's talk about what not to do. What you don't want to do is have an inconsistent vibrato that goes fast and then goes slow and then goes fast and then goes slow, kind of like this. Unless that is what you're going for musically, then go for it. But otherwise you want to stay away from that and you want to stay, you want to stick towards something that is consistent and that serves the song. Always remember to serve the song. Okay, let's get into what's actually happening with my hand over here. So if you're, if you're using your first finger, it's going to be a little bit different for each finger. So if you're using your first finger, it's going to be... So it's almost like opening and closing a doorknob. My thumb's right on top of the fretboard, kind of like stabilizing my hand. And my first finger's almost hanging on to the string, just like that. So this is the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. So as you can see, I'm kind of opening and closing uh, a doorknob over there. And the same thing can be done for your middle finger. This one's a little bit different in that you're pulling down just a little bit, but the principle stays the same. Now, if you're gonna be using an acoustic guitar, keep in mind that this is gonna be a little bit more challenging on an acoustic guitar. You're not gonna have as much sustain. So preferably try it on electric. If you don't have an electric, the same principles apply even to an acoustic guitar. Uh, I hope you have some success with it. Let me know in the comments what you think. See you next one.